Welcome to day one of our special little video devotional series off of yesterday's message of belief versus doubt. And yeah, this is the whiteboard behind me that had a bunch of the work that I was doing on it. And so we want to help you go even further in what we've talked about. Yesterday I talked about, partially, the multiplication of consistency. That what you continue to repeat consistently in your life, you're going to see more of. One of the ways I phrased it was, what you feed will flourish, what you repeat will root, and what you root bears fruit. Good or bad, you decide. And today we want to help you go a little deeper into that. So we're going to read a key passage of scripture, and then we're going to talk a little bit about that and how it impacts our lives. So here it is, Philippians 4, 8-9, the message translation. Summing it all up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realized. Do that, and God who makes everything work together will work you into his most excellent harmonies. That's a really awesome verse, but it flies a lot against things that I can slip into naturally. It's so easy to get caught up in negativity or negative conversations or be reading news that's just constantly, oh, there's this and this and this. And we've got to pause and actually go, wait, what am I filling my mind with? Because whatever I'm consuming, I'm cultivating. Whatever I'm multiplying in my life consistently, I'm, I'm going to see more of that in my life. And I have to ask, is what I'm filling my mind with really what I want to be filling my life with? Is it really the kind of things that I want around? Is it things to praise or is it things to curse? Is it things that are bringing joy or is it things that are just bringing dread? And I'm all for reading the news and being informed, but I'm also all for being conscientious of what we do. It's fine to binge watch a show once in a while, but like, honestly, have you ever noticed that when you've been binge watching like a medical drama for a while, all of a sudden you're thinking of everything really medical, or maybe it's like a legal drama and then you feel like you're talking like a lawyer half the time? Well, here's the thing is the more we consume things, the more it's going to shape and transform how we're behaving, how we're engaging. And today we want to pause with you and say, ask yourself, what have you been consuming? What's your consumption look like lately? Are they things that are noble and true and authentic or, or is it just a bunch of filler, a bunch of stuff to pass the time? Take an action step today. Just write down, what do I talk about the most? What do I think about the most? And also, what am I consuming the most? Write that down and begin to look at, are these the things I really want to flourish in my life? Or do I need to make some changes? Every once in a while, I'll take a pause on something for a little bit. Last year, it was like just a month of no TV, and I took a pause away from it and focused more on scripture and just let my brain breathe and get away from all the stuff. Mind you, it was right during football season, and when God was putting it on my heart, I'm like, oh, Lord, like if I do this, I'm going to miss American Thanksgiving and all this stuff. And he's like, and if you did it back in August when I asked you to the first time, you wouldn't have to give any of this stuff up right now during this time. And I'm like, fair enough. I get it. But here's what I want, and here's what I'm guessing you want. I actually want more love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in my life. And one of the first steps to doing that and seeing more of that is to be conscientious about my consumption. So take some time today, get a little peace and quiet if you can, and write out, what am I talking about, what am I thinking about, and what am I consuming the most? And make some decisions with you and God on where you might need to cut back. And here's the thing, if you cut something out, be sure to fill it with something better. Otherwise, you just create this void that you'll fill with something else and you wanna be intentional on those things. Let me pray for you right now. Lord, I thank you so much that you care so much about what we're consuming. Not because you just wanna be on top of us about things, but God, because you really do care because it really does shape our life. I pray that your spirit would give us clarity and wisdom and discernment on what we're consuming and what we need to just put to the side or just do away with completely and give us the wisdom on what to put in that place. We want to think about things that are noble and true and honorable and authentic, things that are worthy of praise. And so right now in this moment, we choose to praise you as well. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for watching part one. We're going to be back with another part tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. But before we go, I've got to let you know that we love you, we appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.